man charged with robbery and sneaker sales. Surprise, surprise, right? In an article written by Brandon King for SneakerShopTalk.com, a man in Enfield, Connecticut, in Connecticut, so maybe Mosh knows him, uh, was arrested after a sneaker sale went awry, according to police chief Alaric Fox. That sounds like an actual type of fox. Like, I would, I would love to have that Alaric as a fox. title for a sneaker release. Oh my god, Alaric Fox, Alaric Fox, the theme that just sound like yeah, Alaric appealing. Fox dunks. I didn't say nothing about no dunks, <laughs> but dunk lows. That's the MJ collab coming out. The Alaric Fox Nike SB dunk uh, dunk lows. Uh, police chief Alaric Fox. Uh, he said officers were driving through the Bigelow Commons housing complex. One night, shortly after 11 p.m., when they had a brief conversation with the man waiting in a car. That sounds like the start of every scary movie I've ever seen. Uh, the man indicated that he was waiting for 23-year-old Xavier McFarlane. Not the first and last name. Right. Who was set to buy a pair of $320 Air Jordans, uh, negotiated through OfferUp. That's the first red flag for me. I mean, you, any, any deal set up through OfferUp is almost destined for failure, like somebody is going to commit People, some somebody type of crime. Do you buy off offer up and like? Mm, I don't no, think I just so. no. Mm. The officers told the uh, uh, the officers told the man good luck. I don't know if they told him that because they really felt that way or because he was buying a pair of three hundred twenty dollar pair of Air Jordans through a housing complex. I don't know. I, just, <laughs> at late at night, probably both. Yeah. Uh, little did the man and the officers know. That he was to become a future victim of a robbery. I'm pretty sure the, the officers, officers had a clue. clearly knew. They, they said had good luck. When they said good luck, <laughs> even though I wasn't there to hear it, it sounds like it was sarcastic. Right. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll be around if you need us. Uh, shortly <laughs> after the interaction between the off uh, officers and the man in the car, the same officers were later flagged down by a woman who said she had the robbery victim in her car. Surprise. She told the officers that while the man was talking to Xavier through his passenger window, another man snuck into the driver's side with a gun and demanded the victim's gun. So he came prepared, just got, you know. Got the drop on him. Exactly. Uh, so he demanded the victim's gun Why along was with the cell phone. If you brought your gun, you would think you would bring some other people too. Well, um, no, yeah. The, right. you know what's, you know what beats one gun? Two. Exactly. <laughs> you know what beats one You're supposed to have home? a look, too. Right. right. You need to look, have a look at person. Look a look uh, The victim managed to escape and was able to see Xavier and two other males rifling through his car as he ran away. Xavier and his two mm -hmm. accomplices stole the victim's gym bag, which contained $350 worth of boxing gear, which isn't cheap, and the pair of Air Jordans. Xavier was eventually arrested and charged with two counts of first-degree robbery. He was arraigned in Hartford Superior Court the next day and released on a $50,000 bond. Hmm. He's 10%? Yeah. Mm. Tip, oh, yeah. You got the difference. That's, that's still 5 Gs. Where he get and that And then the bail bonds, man. If you mean, got, first of all, if you got money like, like that, why are you stealing? Right. Uh, he's due back in court <laughs> later this month. Chief Fox said that the investigation into Xavier's two other accomplices is still ongoing. So, Over yeah. a $300 pair of gym shoes? Exactly. What kind of shoes was right. it? That's Jordans. My point. If you got $5,000 to bail yourself out, why are you still nah. a $300? Who want to be in jail? You going to find 5000 from somewhere. <laughs> this is why we call it This Week is Stupid. There you go. <laughs> you have $5,000 of disposable income to where you can bail yourself out. But you still in three hundred and fifty dollars shoes. Like well, so. let's you know seven hundred when you add the boxing gear. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is dumb, dumb shit.